Yo guys, what is up? Max and I Waterlands video, and today we're going over the dedicated drops for all of the cosmetic headpieces in the game. Now, there are some really cool looks in Wonderlands, but you can only acquire them from killing certain bosses and farming their dedicated, like, cosmetic drop. So today we're going to go over all of the drops and where to go farm them. Potential spoiler warning, because I will be showing bosses and boss kills during this for hunting for the dedicated drops. So just letting you know, let's get into it. So our first piece of headgear is the Ranger Shade headgear, and it's going to drop from Son of a Witch on Karnok's Wall. You're going to want to come to Karnok's Wall, positive headspace, and then drop down and fight Son of a Witch. Now, there are a bunch of cosmetics to show, so I'm not going to farm all of these until I get the cosmetic, because from the user's post, uh, some of these took 30 to 50 runs per boss just to get the cosmetic drops. So I just want to show you guys each of the boss kills, and then uh, hopefully maybe we'll get some along the way. So that is Son of a Witch down. Any cosmetic drops? No, we did not get like. Oh! No, not the one. <laughs> we did get a, a natural banner color, though. Next up, we've got the Flower Wreath Head. This comes from Nightmare and the Asagul Necropolis. You're just going to come to the Hall of Heroes and then drop down and fight the boss. And hopefully, maybe, maybe we'll get the cosmetic drop this time. <laughs> Schmack. No luck on the cosmetic drops there. Next up, we've got Finn Fashion, and this is going to drop from Daryl, or Drill. <laughs> Just like calling him Daryl. Uh, you're going to come to the Drowned Abyss and go to Drill's Gallery, and then from there, run forward up until you get to the God's Well, which will bring you to Drill, or Daryl. <laughs> All right, final phase. And that's drill dead and me dead. <laughs> Thank you, mushroom. Oh, that looks like a cosmetic drop in that corner over there. Nope, never mind. Our next cosmetic drop is the Barbaric Brow. Now, I do already have this one actually unlocked. I'm wearing it right now. This one comes from Salissa, and you're going to need to get it from Salissa's boss drop in the Sunfang Oasis. Now, I do believe that you need to do the side quest upon entering the Sunfang Oasis to unlock Salissa. Um, and the fastest way that I found to getting to the arena is going to the Chessword Locks, running around uh, until you get to the basic like teleporter that brings you into her arena, and then you can fight her pretty quickly. All right, she is down. Doesn't look like we got what we're looking for, but I also already have that cosmetic unlocked. Next up, we've got the villain's cowl. And now this drops from the final boss, the dragon lord. I will not be showing this boss fight just in case someone hasn't seen it yet. Uh, but to get there, if you have already done this fight, you want to go to the pyramid. And then I recommend going to the final steps checkpoint. You're going to get on this catapult. Shoot yourself up and then uh, basically just go around and into this corner and to the left. And then you will uh, need to do a little bit more running and then you will be at the Dragon Lord. Next up, we have the Skull Cap Cosmetic. Now, this is going to drop from La Chance. You're going to want to come to the Warg Tooth Shallows and then go to the Wreck of the Tempest Scorn. Uh, maybe we'll get it here. Once again, these drops have been confirmed by the poster, um, but... Once again, just for the sake of getting this video out, I'm not going to do like 30 to 50 runs on each one. Um, but on stream, I will actually be trying to get these uh, because I really want all these cosmetics. So if you want to drop by the Twitch stream, I will be trying to get all of these to drop so that I can get them for all my characters. It's funny because I feel like I only get cosmetic drops. And now when we're actually trying to get them, I'm not getting any. <laughs> Next up, we've got the Draconic Dome. Now, this is going to drop from Zomboss in the Shattered Grave Barrow. I'd recommend coming to the Shattered Grave Nave, and then you can kind of just run through this uh, area to get to Zomboss. Hey, and we actually got it. There is the Draconic Dome. We did get... One of the dedicated drop cosmetics. My inventory is full because my inventory is always full because I suck at inventory management. But there is the Draconic Dome. Next up, we've got Lead Mage's Lid. This is the 
quote unquote sorcerer's hat or wizard's hat in this game so i know a lot of people are going to be looking out for this one this one drops from parasite in the tangle drift the tangle drift is a optional area in the overworld you're going to need to talk to a sinister looking bean and just talk to that and follow along its quest line to get to the tangle drift and then do the side quest here to get to parasite now let's see if we can get this drop <laughs> Oh, wow, we actually got it two in a row. There is the mage's hat. We are getting very lucky now. <laughs> awesome, 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 awesome. Our next cosmetic drop is the cloak and dagger headgear. Now, this is going to drop from Vorkanar in Mount Krah. Mount Krah is an optional area, and you're going to need to do the Slayer of Vorkanar quest line to unlock Mount Krah. Once you do, head to Tribute Way, and then you're going to fight Vorkanar. Oh, three in a row. No way. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> Cloak and dagger. There we go. Beautiful. Next up, we have the adventurous hat. Now, this is going to drop from Banshee in the Weep Wild Dankness. Um, Banshee is a story boss that you need to fight along the way. Just come to the Corrupted Heart and then drop down and then fight Banshee. Wow, that was a fast kill. <laughs> wow, wow, wow. <laughs> Holy crap, this chaos 20. Uh, did we get we did it again? Uh, hair color pack. Okay, so we did get a cosmetic, just not the one that we were hoping for. Our next cosmetic drop is the Mysterious Mantle. Now, this drops from Ribula, where you can find in the Snoring Valley. It's kind of a bit of a run, but just go to the spawn point of the tutorial area and then run all the way through until you get to Ribula. This should be quite a melt. <laughs> Oh, never mind. <laughs> there, there he is. Uh, nope, none from him. Lastly, there are two headpieces that can world drop only. Uh, those are the tanks top and the centurion style cosmetics. Uh, these can only drop from world drops. If you're looking for world drop cosmetics, one way to do it is to roam around the overworld and punch all the chests until you get a mimic chest to spawn or find a mimic chest, which will usually drop a bunch of cosmetics. Guys, that is going to do it for the video. I hope you enjoyed. I hope you found this helpful, and I wish you the best of luck in farming those new cosmetic looks. There's so much character customization in this game. I genuinely love it. Uh, I'll catch you all in the next one, guys. Take care. Peace. And lastly, just because I know I'm going to get some questions on it, you can change your character's armor color and your, like, gear that you're wearing, but the actual armor that your character is wearing, like the big gear, is determined by your class mod. So different class mods will have different looks, and if you find a look that you really like, maybe just hold on to that class mod for, like, pictures or stuff like that, just because that class mod will determine the majority of your appearance, and then you can change the colors of that to further customize your look. I was putting